Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to go over some of the update information on things that got added into PSO2 today. So we do have a couple of scratches that got added into the game this week, and one of the really important ones I'm going to mention first is going to be the SG Support Item Select April 24. So this is another one of those support scratches where it takes a ton of star gems, but it's very worthwhile to get some of these rewards inside of here. So hopefully you have a nice stockpile of star gems where you can actually get all the way up this tier 95 preset skill enhanced material not required. Because this is actually a really important one here. This can actually allow you to take like a fix on a weapon from like 4 to 5 or an armor. And uh, you wouldn't actually need a fodder or anything. You could just straight take it from 4 to 5 with this item right here. So it's extremely valuable, but it does have a st steep hefty cost. But there is some really, really good stuff inside of the scratch as always. You know, you get all these different like preset skill protections and enhancement boosters and all this stuff. Uh, it's uh, very worthwhile to scratch out, I would say. And this is only going to be lasting for two weeks as well. So you can see I only have 1100 star gems myself. So I'm gonna be sweating trying to make a lot of star gems over the course of the next couple of weeks here. I, I guess I need to go ham on the new limited time quest. So then another scratch that we got this week is actually, we have a collab going on in, in the game. And this is actually for a really old anime for Rurouni Henshin style. So this scratch here actually has some pretty neat stuff inside of it. I did want to point out that there is actually a camo in the game. This is actually the camo from the anime, and uh, it's a pretty nice looking katana. Unfortunately, this is completely account locked, like you can't trade this with anyone. So if you're interested in getting hold of this camo here, you're gonna have to actually scratch for it. And it takes a total of 40 pulls to get to it too, so it's a little costly. Uh, so keep that in mind. It does actually work on katana, uh, double saber, and sword apparently, so... If you like this, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to scratch for it, unfortunately. It is a pretty nice looking camo. I wish it was a color variant camo. It would have been cool if it changed like the photon art colors and stuff, but unfortunately it's just a plain camo. Now, whenever it comes to the scratch listing here, I did want to point out like they do have like some outfits inside of here. There's like three different types of outfits and then they have like all variations to them and stuff. And then inside of here, there's also like some like motion idols and stuff like that, like running with the katana and like holding the katana and stuff. So. Some of you anime fans out there might like some of this stuff. There's like some hairstyles with it and whatnot. There's actually some like old accessories that got watered into this scratch too, unfortunately. So it's not all straight up collab stuff. Some of this stuff is like uh like old NGS stuff that just kind of got revived. Now I did also want to point out whenever it comes to the outfits inside of the scratch, my friend Corone, she should be doing a video showcasing off the differences between all these outfits here. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Corone's YouTube so you can go check out her outfit showcase video. She should have one for this AC scratch here posted up later on today. It'll be really helpful information to help you decide on which one of these outfits you might want to purchase. So something else I did want to mention this week is it's going to be the last week you have to run the current limited time quest. And it's also going to be the last time that you have to acquire seasonal points too. So the seasonal points will actually, the shop will be going away after the next week, but uh, you'll actually only be able to acquire the points this week. So it's going to be a good idea to go out there and hit this limited time quest here some this week if you haven't yet. Just doing one clear of it gets you the first time clear reward of 10 of those SP scratch tickets. Uh, so it's very worthwhile to do. And you can see down there in the bottom right, they actually have this like, they actually have this special boost going on right now to where currently what you're seeing on the screen is affected a little bit by PSO2 day boost. Uh, but there's actually a 150% rare drop rate boost going on all week for this quest and as well 150% preset skill rate too for the fixes and stuff. So it's uh, pretty worthwhile to go out there and run it, especially if you run it right now during PSL 2 day. It actually has the 250% as you can see. That's going to be going away Thursday morning for that portion, uh, that extra 100% from PSL 2 day boost. So yeah, definitely make sure you go out there and try to hit this stuff because this will be your last week to hear all these seasonal points and stuff. And the, the quest is actually pretty fun and rewarding too. So this week we do have another Arcs record ranking going on. So if you open up your menu and you go to personal and then down to Arcs records and then random challenge records, you can find it right here. So South Kavars Dash Spring 24 Solo. Now, whenever it comes to this, you want to at least do one run of it that way, so you get yourself a participation reward of those Arc Trekker badges, which you can use for those weekly star jumps. Now, speaking of which, it's always a good idea if you have characters on multiple ships to do one run per ship because it's an individual ranking and reward. And then you can get more badges on your alternate ships, which can be used on those weekly star jumps. Now, this one in particular is actually a little bit of a special event. So the way that you would find this, it's over in South Kavars here. 
And it's down here by this Ryuka right here, the Dan and Snowfield East Ryuka right here. Now, whenever you come to the terminal right here to start up the field race, you can actually see that there's a couple of different options here. And you want to make sure that you choose the Spring 24. So this is like a limited time spring event one that they added in. Actually, I don't know if it's limited time. It might actually stay around, but it's a little bit different than the normal one. By the way, I wanted to point out, if you like some of the artwork and sketches and the gifts that you see in some of my videos here, the stuff that you see on the screen, it's all commissions that I have done by an amazing artist named Mias Majin. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Mias Majin's Twitter so you can contact them if you're interested in doing any commissions. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.